Hey Tauruses, I'm back for the third time, but I'm going to keep this short. I channeled um, Danny Moon here, y'all. Call me what you want as long as it's respectful. You know, I always got to throw the mantra in. Um, I'm a, Every card that I give you and all the channeling that I do is not going to resonate with everybody. I'm going to run down this li list real quick, what I channeled from Spirit. Um, the, first, the first thing I got was Transformation. Then I got moving forward or moving. Some people are physically moving. And transformation, you're just changing. You're on your spiritual journey. Maybe even quietly, you're on your spiritual journey. You're on some type of journey, okay? You're, you're walking through this madness and your universe is guiding you. Just put it like that. Um, developing or developing a project that you could be doing something on the side you could be developing a project in your side gig you could be an entrepreneur and you're developing a project it, I don't know you got to apply it to your life it doesn't have to be like chemistry you know what I mean it could be something small you could be de developing a tarot deck you could be developing your own comic book you could be developing some type of strategy that's going to make you more money anything you could be developing t-shirts you could be developing anything that's creative is developing a project so um number five is change lots of change going on around you right now some Taurus people are in their head conflict of the mind but you're using the energy to stay busy that's called avoidance avoidance y'all i gave the same thing to aries um this is just a crazy time for a lot of the zodiacs because of the portal um there was a portal just just go to YouTube University and put in the portal, um, universe, the portal, and they'll tell you all about it. It was July 25th to like August 18th maybe, and I could be wrong on those dates. Please don't quote me. I'm not an astrologer, okay? Um, but the portal was time for people to get endless possibilities for people to manifest and make their dreams come true. The energy is still lingering. So if I was you, I would start writing down and start manifesting, Tauruses. Um, the next thing I got was sometimes Taurus, sometimes the Taurus people can do too much, say too much, or just be too much. So watch yourself is all, I'm, is all the advice spirit is giving you. Giving you. It, you know, Tauruses, you know yourself. If you talking too much, if you doing too much for your spouse or for your friend or whatever, trust me, they're, they're talking about you. In their head, they're like, yeah, why are they doing so much? So chill out sometimes. Um, just let the person say what they need and what they want from you. You don't have to jump on it all the time. And it doesn't have to be a spouse. It could be like a whole group of friends or a friend or a co-worker or at work. It could be anywhere where you just like doing too much and you need to watch yourself. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. Oh, no. Go ahead, do. I'm sorry. I love that song. Stay in line, do. Um... What else? Lots of singles. They, I, when I was meditating on y'all, I didn't really get um, a lot of relationship stuff, reading stuffy stuff. No, I didn't get. I got one vision of like one vision of a couple together, and it was har harmonious. So that's not enough for me to go on with a reading. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think a lot of the people who are single or on the verge of being single. Um, or have been single for a very long time because y'all are about your money. That's what I wrote down because that's the energy I got. Um, and contentment, contentment, okay? The cards you came out with, I already plucked the cards because this is my third take, so you got to work with me. Okay, we got light. Shine your light, Tauruses. I think sometimes <clears throat> you wear this armor, Maybe like seven of wands where you're a little bit defensive or you don't know what's going on around you. You're not really sure. Um, <clears throat> sometimes the armor could be a friendly armor too where you're always laughing and joking and trying to be good with everybody and do for everyone else. Um, it's time for you to shake all of that and shine your light. Be authentically you. While you're doing that, you need to, before you do that, you need to re-energize. Re-energize a lot of... Um, all the zodiacs, even Libras, we are 
losing our energy. Our energy is weakening. So, and it's because of this portal. Okay, so just go, please. I don't want to explain any the portal to you. I'm not an astrologer, so I don't want to tell you the wrong thing. Okay, but just put in the portal. <laughs> okay, um, and I already told you a little bit about it is, is that the universe was sending out this energy where they was going to pull everything to you that you're manifesting. Okay, um, so the energy is still lingering. So I advise you to take action. Start writing down. Start doing some candle magic. Um, start talking to the God, talking to the universe and saying, this is what I have. Thank you so much. This is what I am. Thank you so much. You know, start saying it as if you have it, as if you own it, as if you are. Okay. Um, the next ones you got was feelings. Um, don't be in your feelings, Tauruses. Some of you could be in your feelings because maybe you're a little lonely at this point because all you are doing is working and getting your money, working and getting your money and you are a little lonely, but um, stay focused. Um, letting go. Some of you are, maybe some of you are lonely because there ha have been some breakups and you are single now. But it's time for you to let it go. You have to let go. Letting go. Let go of whatever you're holding on to so tightly. Because whatever you're holding on so, so tightly to, it's not serving you. Just put it like that. It's not serving you. Um, waiting. And when I got waiting, it was in the reverse. So I feel like a lot of you are not waiting around anymore. I'm not really sure if this deck does reversals, but I can tell you that if it comes out like, and I don't do reversals at all, because I'm not going to learn 78 cards upright and then 78 upside down. I'm not going to do that. Plus, I don't like to give bad news, you know what I mean? So I don't. I try to stay away from the reversals unless it lands right in front of me, like like this, like reversed. Then I had. Then I know Spirit, God, the universe wants me to tell you something. Um, so let's do both ways. If this did come out in reverse for you, you will know what this means. That means you're tired of waiting on whoever you waiting on. <clears throat> you tired of sitting and waiting for a job to come to you. You're about to take action. You're tired of waiting on this spouse or this ex or whoever this was, waiting for them to get their shit together. So you you decided you're not waiting no more. That's what reversal mean. Now, upright, it means you waiting for your ships to come in. This is like the three of wands. This means you, you know exactly what you want to do. You, you are manifesting. You waiting for that phone call. You're waiting for that paperwork. You're waiting. And it's coming any second, any day now. So that's awesome. Apply it to your life, to how, to whoever. Reverse, if it matters, if it if it goes to your life or applies to your life and upright if it applies to your life okay um let's hit the cards real quick y'all the regular ones <laughs> you know my favorite deck the the tarot deck um, if you want a private reading, you can email me at moondanny1976 at gmail.com. My readings are not expensive, y'all. My readings start at $20. I mean, if you are having issues in your life, I think you can spare $20 to give you some guidance from spirit, okay? And then if you want a really in-depth reading, um... Uh, just hit me up at moondanny1976 at gmail.com. Uh, thank you for supporting me. Please press like and leave a comment, okay? Whether you resonate or not, leave a comment. Leave a thumbs up. Leave something, okay? Um, just so we can show YouTube that we are supporting this black girl, okay? We supporting mama, okay? Because mama is supporting you. Um, Tauruses, I am getting okay energy for you right now. It's not bad. Um, it is kind of contentment that I am getting, and I'm getting, like, internal all over the place. 
don't get me wrong. I don't feel like you're internally crying, but I feel like for some Tauruses, not for all, some Tauruses are a little bit all over the place, don't know where, which way to go, don't know what, if they're making the right decision, not really sure. And that's really unlike Tauruses. Y'all normally know, boom, boom, bang down the door. You know what I'm saying? So for you to be a little confused right now, there must be a lot going on with you. For the ones who are not confused, you are content. You're happy where you are. And um, you say you want movement. You say you're going to move. That was That's what I wrote on the paper. Moving forward or moving. So some of you say you're moving. And maybe you're manifesting that. And maybe it's coming in the future within six months. I hope so. But right now, you're saying, I, I know where I want to go. I think I want to know where to go. I think I, you know, spirit wants you to take action spirit wants you to trust and believe in in them in your spirit guides in the universe in vibration in god take the leap of faith okay um i, I keep getting investment so but give me a minute let me spirit needs to let me know is this bad investment or a good investment I did get children um, earlier when I was meditating on y'all, and I didn't want to touch that because I didn't get nothing else with it. So right now, if you had a hard day with your child, or if you're thinking about your child, or if your child is growing up and you're so proud of your child, or if you're pregnant, something with a child today, spirit is just letting you know that they know. They was there. They, they know how you feel. They saw what, what whatever went down, whether it was good or bad, and they got your back, okay? I think the reason why they didn't expand on that with me is because I think there's so many different people out there that had a different experience with their child that they can't tell me exactly. Tom did this. Jane did that. This person did this. You know what I mean? They can't tell me it, pinpoint it. But they feel they are saying, or well, I am getting the energy that you will know. You will know. When I say spirit is telling me about children or a child. Okay. Uh, thank you, spirit. Can I get something for the Tauruses, please? Taurus energy, please. What do you want them to know? See, King of Pentacles, y'all are out there making your money. You're making your bread. But on the on the low, I do feel like you're saying like, damn, I wish I had a date. Damn, I wish I wish I could go. I wish I, I, I could go out. Even though you can go out, we all grown. But I think you're saying like, damn, I want to go out, but I'm not going. Because I got to get up early tomorrow for work. Or, uh, or you're giving excuses is what I'm trying to tell you. You know what I mean? Spirit is saying you only you only hurting yourself by hindering and stopping yourself. Enjoy life. It's part of the journey. It's it's part of the transformation. Um, if you want these cards to come out, can you please bring them back out, Spirit? Thank you. Can I get some more Taurus energy, please? Can you clarify this King of Pentacles? Ooh, Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment. This is awesome. That means you are manifesting. You are wishing for something. Something is coming coming to life for you. I told you that the energy that I'm feeling isn't, it isn't great. I'm not going to lie. But it isn't bad either. Okay? It isn't bad. Ooh, thank you. That came right out. Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles is about making a decision, y'all. You know, and I did say earlier that y'all y'all don't really know, should I go here, should I go there? In this deck, you did get waiting. And waiting is like the three of wands. Like waiting um, for your ships to come in. And 
three of wands is like you made a decision. So in one deck, you kind of like made a decision for some Tauruses out, out there. Um, and I think you... Uh, right, they're saying unsure. Maybe the decision you made, you're unsure about it. So back, you're going back and forth, back and forth in your mind about it. Spirit, thank you so much. Can you give me um, something to clarify that with? Two of Pentacles, please. Thank you. That jumped right out. <laughs> this is the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is a message coming to you quickly okay um it could be a person coming to you to just um stay in your life for a little while to bring you some happiness some some change some growth um something coming quickly with a desire to, of a conversation a passionate conversation right here okay swords is about the mind so they're coming in swiftly to tell you something and they might linger around for a little while but then they're gonna go Okay, so that is what you could be on the fence about. You could be wondering what this person is coming in to tell you if the, if this happened already. Um, maybe you anticipating a, for a phone call or a message that is coming in. And it'll be coming in tomorrow or something very quickly next week or something. And maybe you're in a in your headspace of, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And that could be with a relationship also. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for all of the people who told me they was going to watch tonight. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. <laughs> um, I love when um, y'all support the kid. You know what I'm saying? Thank you so much. Um, Spirit, can we get something else for the Taurus energy, please? What did I say? Two of wands. Now, in that deck, I said the three of wands. But I said, it's like you made a decision, but you're like, should I go? Should I go? Or you're going to make a decision, and you're still going to be like, uh, I don't know if this is it, blah, 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 blah. You already got the two of pentacles, and I said that you're questioning yourself, and now you got the two of wands. The two of wands is about not knowing what to do, being stuck between two things people, places, or things. But who has the world in their hand? You. Spirit is trying to say, you hold the magic. You don't have to be undecided. Pick one, they're going to save you that way. Pick the other, they're going to save you that way. And when I say they, I mean your universe, your God, okay? Um, Spirit, can I get something to clarify this um, page of wands, please? And you see, Tauruses, I threw the blonde one for y'all. Go ahead, though. Stay in line, though. Uh, can we clarify this? Yes, thank you. Uh, meditation. They're saying um, you got the four swords. The two of wands is about making a decision, but they're saying until you go within and meditate, he's not sleeping. He's thinking. <clears throat> he's thinking, y'all, excuse me. Um, he's thinking about which way he should go and what he should do, whether it's a relationship. If it's a relationship, something's telling me that you already know what to do. If it's a relationship, my my intuition right now is going is like on fire. It's like, whoo, whoo. So they're trying to tell me that they're that spirit is trying to tell me that your intuition is on fire. You know what to do, but you're scared. You're, you're fearful. I'm surprised as we keep going, if you don't get the moon. You know what I mean? The moon card is about fear. You know what I'm saying? So um spirit um Tauruses. You y'all are y'all are a strong zodiac. So I know at times it you you know being strong you can't be strong all the time. I get it, um, but this too shall pass. You need to meditate. Go within within your own head. Stop um stop asking for advice. Stop avoiding, and I'm gonna tell you about this right now. Stop avoiding. Stop asking for um. 
advice or whatever, know what you're doing. Listen to your intuition and then you can make a solid decision. Um, Nine of Pentacles is a great card, especially when it comes to your money because Nine of Pentacles is about making your money. Look at all that. <clears throat> the last card would be Ten of Pentacles. Ten is like abundance, abundance. Nine of Pentacles is like right there at abundance. This is super great. But the other thing with this card is that she is alone. They, they are trying to depict that she did this. She and there's no gender in tarot, y'all. That um, she did this all on her own. She listened to her intuition she let the spirit and universe and whoever guide her and say if she didn't believe all of that and she just believed that she was universe or she was God or whatever she let she or he let you let your higher self guide you it's the same thing okay so they're trying to say you did this independently independently and that's awesome the only thing is that it's showing me that you are throwing yourself again into work you're throwing yourself into other things instead of really dealing with what the real issue is so please 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 because when you finish doing all of that and come home from work or come home from doing what you're doing the problem is and the decision is still going to be there I tried, I told the Aries that the same thing. I don't know why I'm so red, y'all. It could be the lighting, but don't worry about it. Um, can we get something to clarify the nine of, yes. Okay. Wow. Something's over. Something is over. The relationship could be finally over for you. And I say finally because somebody, I don't know if it's you or the spouse, was waiting to get out of this. Somebody was um, knew this was coming. Because remember I said your intuition was pulsing. So you knew it was coming. But now it's over. This could be tomorrow. This could be past energy, present, or future energy. So I'm just letting you know. If you say, oh, we broke up two weeks ago past present or future okay so this is ten of swords means it's over but it means there's a new beginning okay and this new beginning even though you doing everything on your own you might end up not doing everything on you on your own anymore maybe you feel like you can't handle everything on your own maybe you feel like this is just causing you too much stress this working all the time, doing for all of these other people, uh, you know, and doing it all by yourself. Maybe that comes to an end where somebody's going to um, help you. Take the help, um, Taurus says, take the help. They're showing me another card. The What is it? The thinking woman. Like, take the help. Somebody may, a woman you might know, give you wisdom or a number or something where you can get a different job or meet different people or advice or something, okay? But you're not going to be doing this, all this labor by yourself anymore, okay? Thank you, Spirit. Can I get one more? Two more, please? Two, four, six, eight. Yes. Can I get two more, please? Didn't I tell you in the beginning of this reading? Now, I did three of these readings, but so it might not have been this one. But I could have swore I told you to take a leap of faith. The Fool card, y'all. The Fool card is about not knowing what's beyond, but just trusting in his belief. Ooh, say it again. Not knowing what's beyond, but, this, but just trusting in his belief. Say it one more time without stumbling. Not knowing what's beyond, but just trusting his belief. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Thank you, spirit. No. Um, can you give me a... Can we um, clarify this, please? The Four Cups. Huh. 
I think what they're saying here comes along with the transformation that I told you. You're going through an internal transformation where your life is changing. You're, some of you are moving. Some of you are having breakups. Some of you are lonely and decided to move forward. Some of you are moving into a house, an apartment, um, states. You know what I mean? Some of you are moving jobs, moving up in a job or changing jobs completely. Spirit is trying to say with the four cups because the four cups is about being bored. It's about not seeing what God is giving, what God is giving you. Um, even though I think that's a slap in the face, I don't like this four of cups. Okay, so you're taking a leap of faith, but you're you're thinking about it, you're contemplating. Because remember, this is clarifying this. So what this card is saying is that you're going to be thinking about taking a um, a leap of faith. Um, or spirit is talking to you through synchronicities, through signs, through birds, through the world, through your intuition, through meditation. Spirit is talking to you saying, take a leap of faith. Hey, guy, look at the cup in the clouds. Take a leap of faith. You got to take a leap of faith somewhere, y'all. And that could be with investing. Um... And I heard like something about, I heard the word the leave. So it, that could have to do with leaving your situation. Yes. Yes. You know why? Because it's going to be victorious. Once you make a decision to take a leap of faith and walk away from whatever's not serving you and, and make a solid decision, because there's two things here. Okay. Maybe you'll get more wish fulfillment, okay? Because a cycle is ending for you. For you, Tauruses, a cycle is ending for you guys. Thank you, y'all. If you want um uh, a reading, you can hit me up at moondanny1976 at gmail.com. I also have a Facebook page, which is Karen Alexander. But you got to let me know, like, oh, I'm from... The Taurus video or this video or whatever video. And um, we can go from there. Yes. Um, you got the Ten of Wands and you got the Ten of Swords. Spirit is saying something's over. You're putting these burdens down and then you will be victorious. You can't handle, you can't hold taking care of the kids, working, cooking, looking looking after your spouse you know what i mean in any form or capacity you know um thinking about what he or she is doing what she is she or he is doing you you can't hold up the entire family friends and staff at work and and think you're gonna come out victorious oh no spirit is saying once you put this down you will be victorious victorious thank you spirit four pentacles four pentacles is about holding on didn't we get um a card that says uh letting go okay this card is about holding on tight holding holding on tight now did y'all see me hold it like this that's because i got it out of the deck like this so spirit is saying four of pentacles. Let's see what that is about. Four of pentacles in reverse. Oh, I know what that's about. That's about over overly spending. Because when it's in the upright, that means you are holding on to your money. You're making, uh, there's a savings account. Um, there's another account. You're just holding on to all this money that you're working so hard for. And Spirit is saying, you can't die with it. That don't make no sense to work hard for it and not be able to please yourself in any kind of way, by yourself or any such thing like that. But if it came, and that's that's um, upright. In reverse, it means you're spending fr frivolously. You're spending frivolously too much okay also it means hoarding some of you are hoarding shoes that's what i got so i have to tell you 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 could give some of your shoes to like um donate them you really can because people need them
Can we clarify the four of pentacles, please? And I saw it. Can you bring that one out again, please? Thank you. And it's clarified by the page of pentacles. Now, there's a lot of pentacles on this board. There's one, two, three, four, four pentacles, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five pentacle cards. This means your money is going to get right. It's going to be right, um, especially with the page of pentacles, because a page means a message, something coming to you about a job, about a coin, about a money, about a nickel, about a dime, about a dollar. <laughs> you can't go wrong with the page of pentacles, okay? And it's a page, yes, it's young. That means it's not, it won't be a, a millions and millions and zillions of dollars, but it's going to be like a raise. It's, it's going to be something good, money coming your way, you know, and so that, and it's clarifying the four of pentacles so you won't have to hold on to your money so tight. You'll have, you'll have money to pay your bills and buy yourself something. Everybody should do that. Nobody should work to the bone and can't buy themselves something. Okay. Thank you, spirit. What's that? The, that's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. 10, 12, 14. That's a whole spread y'all. Okay. Bottom of the deck is king of swords this is a libra card so taurus you could be with a libra um i don't know any of the other signs with any of these cards uh sagittarius uh, another sagittarius um i don't know what the ten of swords is um anyway this, this message is for you if you are definitely with like a Sag or a Libra or something like that. This is another communication card. First, you got the Knight of Swords, which is the mind and which is the mind. Okay, Swords is the mind. Something, something or someone. There is time to have a conversation. Okay, nothing's going to happen. And this was at the beginning of your reading. Remember, you got the King of Pentacles with the Nine of Cups, which is a wish fulfillment. Okay, and then you got the Two of Pentacles with the Knight of Swords. This leap of faith is all the way down here. So you're going to have to have this conversation and you're going to have to have it soon if it didn't happen already. Okay, um, uh, King of Swords is strong with, 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 with the communication. I keep hearing shit, y'all, and I got to remember my spirit guides are here for y'all. Um, King of Swords is about knowing what he wants, knowing. I said to move over there. They move over there. Everyone loves the King of Swords because they're very diplomatic and very um, kind to, like, the people around them. Their community, their family, their friends, they don't just communicate to hurt people's feelings. They communicate the right way to get things done. So, Taurus, remember, I said to you that I got the energy of y'all doing too much, saying too much, doing too much. So, Spirit is not saying be closed mouth. Pick your words wisely. Think before you speak. Okay, that's what spirit is saying. Um, let's give you an energy oracle card. Thank you so much for um, waiting for me to come in and give you your reading, Tauruses. I know that it was y'all's time, and I should have... I should have at least came back a week ago, but I've just been going through a difficult time myself. Thank you, Spirit. I've been going through a difficult time myself, and um, you got the Envy card. So maybe this is somebody that you need to have this conversation with. Sorry about that. I was saying I was going through a difficult time myself then. I'm still going through a difficult time. But I want to keep my YouTube running. And I want Spirit to be able to advise you on what to do. 
okay? So what they're saying in this spread is that there's somebody around you, deceitful, envious of you, probably standing in the corner, you don't even notice them. You know what I'm saying? Um, or they're right in front of your face, but you need to call them out and you need to have a conversation with them, okay? They're saying your money is going to be well. You're holding on tight to this money and your money's going, your money's coming up. Your money's coming up. But understand, you got to do something for you. You got to take a trip. You got to buy you something, buy a watch. You know what I mean? Put your money, invest your money. You know what I mean? Make it grow. But don't just hold on like this four of pentacles over here to um, your money and you're not doing nothing with it. Okay? Um, and you got to make a decision. Spirit is set telling you like whatever decision you make, you will make. Spirit got your back. They, they're not going to let you fall. You have fall. You have a spiritual team. You have two spirit gods. And you got the universe. And you got God. Okay? Take the leap of faith. You got the card. They're trying to tell you. Take the leap of faith. Before I took the card out, I told you, Spirit said, to take the leap of faith. But I did take... Um, I did do this three times, so I'm not sure which one that I said take the leap of faith, but I did say it. So just believe me. Um, but overall, Tauruses, this is a really good spread with really good advice. Um, Ten of Swords, something's over. Something's over where you might have to have a conversation and say that this is over. Stop calling me. Stop texting me. Or a job. This is over. I'm done. I'm bored here. Okay? I need to move on. I need to make more money. Okay? Something's over. But you will not get that answer if you don't go and meditate or go within or ask yourself the hard questions. Should I do this? And not just ask yourself the questions and go away. You got to ask yourself the questions and get an answer. Okay? And how, you, how are you going to get an answer? You're going to sit still. You're going to meditate. You're going to listen to spirit, okay? And say if you be like, none of that works for me, then ask a, a trustful friend, a best friend, someone that you really think you can trust because I don't know who is envious. Who is this? So, this is somebody. You, I feel like Taurus is you starting to come up with your money, with your look, with your clothes, with your house, with whatever, and somebody's not feeling it, but they probably laughing in your face like, oh, yeah, this is so good. Don't trust everybody. People are envious and jealous. Watch yourself, okay? And you might have to have a strong... Um, a strong communication. King of, King of Swords, I told you, they're very respectful when they want to be. Now, earlier, remember I said I'm surprised you don't have the moon card here because I feel like there's a bit of fear here of why you will not, like... Um, have a conversation or you're working so much because you're avoiding or you're not meditating. Um, decision, decision, decision. Look what's up. Look, this was under the King of Swords. Okay. And I could keep plucking. These cards are totally for you, Tauruses. The Eight of Swords stuck in your mind, trapped in your mind trapped in your mind because you want to know where is this going i think that has to do with a relationship you want to know where is this going or is this an ending you know what i mean you can answer your own questions if your spouse or this person is not answering you or this job is not answering you or seeing your worth it's over you know what i mean it's over and it's time for you to communicate that no one's gonna read your mind <clears throat> Didn't I tell you seven of swords that you on the defense? You're on the defense. Even if you don't show it, even if you don't show it, but you a little bit on the defense, Tauruses. This is about creating boundaries, okay? Some Somebody got to create boundary within their relationship or at their job somewhere. But you can't do that without communication. And you need to create boundaries with whoever's trying to be malicious or envious towards you, okay? Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is about your money growing. This whole reading was about your money growing. You went from, and you got the King of Pentacles, which is the biggest money. Money, but then you got the nine of pentacles okay you did go down to the four of pentacles okay but spirit was trying to say that um something is coming in because you got the page of pentacles you got a lot of pentacles on this board i'm gonna let you see this 
Um, and so, I think I told you, seven of pentacles, you grow in your money. Your money is coming up, okay? The, the, and again, here we go. Judgment card, making a decision. Again, bottom of the deck. Um, ace of pentacles. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. This is an awesome spread. If you could just hurry up and like make a decision whether you want to go left or right, um, leave this person, stay with this person, move into a job, a different job, invest this amount of money. If you could just make this decision and know that spirit got you, you're going to be good. You're going to be good. Again, hermit, they want you. This whole deck is your, this whole deck, this whole deck, y'all. Hermit, hermit means to go within. It's again like the four swords. Go within and listen, sit still, listen to what you need to do. Ask for signs, y'all, which you have been getting signs already, but I don't know if it's going over your head. Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. But the Wheel of Fortune, yes, it is about money, but Wheel of Fortune is about making that wheel turn in your favor after this new cycle, after this ten of swords. Because I told you something's over. So if you want this new cycle to go in a good way for you, you got to step on that wheel that way so all this money could come in for you. Okay? You're going to have options. Seven of, seven of cups. Options. Opportunities. But this is illusions. Okay? Don't get psyched out. Use your mind. Don't be so up in your brain that you let something slip by don't look for, if you if this is about a job don't take the one that has the most money because then it won't have the benefits you know we need benefits okay if this is about options of you being locked down in a relationship but now you have options of other people you know take look at your options and of course enjoy that go out on dates do all of that but don't get fooled because somebody is very envious of you don't be fooled and don't don't pick the illusion is what seven of cups is about open your eyes pick choose wisely Spirit, okay, thank you so much. I, I could keep going. Look at that. Five of Wands, conflict of the mind. I wrote that down. I wrote that down. Number five, change, conflict of the mind. Boom. <clears throat> but personally, I think that is... I don't think you show that, Taurus, is when you're out and about. I don't think people know that you are in your mind. And I don't want to say struggling. I don't think you're struggling. I just think these, these decisions come up that you just don't know what to do. And you're avoiding it. You know what I mean? Um, again, Ace of Swords, another conversation. But this also is the idea card. This is the card where people go, oh, shit, I ain't think about doing that. Maybe I should have that conversation with them while they are blah, 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 blah. You going to have, or maybe I should leave that job when blah, 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 blah. Anything. This is about saying like, oh, shit, this is my old shit card. Okay. But swords, remember, swords is all about the mind, baby. All about the mind. You know what I'm saying? It's all about the mind and having a conversation. All right. Um, Spirit, can I get two more, please? And we're going to end it there. We're going to end it. This was a really good spread. I am going to show it to you in a second. Thank you, Spirit. Adj adjacent possibilities. Adjacent possibilities. I'm going to tell you about that in a minute. Um, can I get one more, please? Okay. All right, spirit. If you want those to come out, please bring them out, please. Can I get one more? Thank you, spirit. Healer of the ages. So I'm going to read both of those cards to you, and we will be on our merry way. 24. Twenty-four adjacent possibilities, many, many unconsidered options. That's just like seven of cups. So you have, 
there's many options out there that you're not even considering because you are a little bit content with where you're at and because you have not made any decisions to move forward. But what I wrote on this paper that I channeled is that you're moving forward or moving. So some of you are deciding to move forward after you make these decisions that you have to make. This could be one decision, you know what I mean? Or it could be many. Only you know your own life, okay? I'm not reading the whole thing to you. It's just about um, um, many unconsidered options, meaning you're not even considering these options that are right in front of you for whatever reasons that they might be. Um, if you you hit me up, we could go into depth on <clears throat> these options, this decision, this money. We could go into depth about this. If you want a private reading, you can hit me up at um, moondanny1976 at gmail.com. Um, my Facebook um, is sessions with no sessions and guidance with Danny Moon. <laughs> it's new. I hardly go on there, but I need to start posting on there. I have a friend who manages my page and she posts like all my pictures and all my stuff on there when she gets a chance. So please go and like it and I will keep that site updated on everything that I do. Uh, third 51, and you know, you're supposed to reduce these numbers or add these numbers. Uh, 51. Sorry, y'all. 51, healer of the ages, health and vitality. Sorry, y'all. I don't want to go go through the whole reading of it, but it, I have to. This powerful um, being brings the force, and I, you know I got to put my glasses on. See, I ain't have time for all this. I don't got no time. I do not want this video to be at least uh, to be an hour. We are already on 46 minutes. Okay, so this powerful being brings the force of ancient wisdom and profound healing. The light of divine consciousness pours from his hands and heart, flowing to you with love and power powerful healing intention. This amazing entity is with you now bringing bringing resolution to physical, mental and emotional ills, helping to unblock stuck energy and revitalize your life force. That's awesome because in the other deck, in the mermaid deck that I first gave you, re-energize, remember? And so this is the same thing saying that this healer of ages, which is spirit universe God, whoever. It could be your deceased loved ones sending you energy just so that you can revitalize yourself, re-energize, okay? Um, that was awesome. That was awesome. Bottom of the deck. Look what's at the bottom of the deck. Cornucopia. Cornucopia is like, it, it, cornucopia is like almost, it's not this, but it's like doing a scratch off and winning $10,000, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <clears throat> Cornucopia is like manifesting. It's like manifesting the mega millions. Okay? So maybe maybe spirit is saying go out there and buy a lotto ticket. Okay? I don't know if you gamble or not. I don't know how you feel about that. But I know I just got the energy to tell you that. So try to do it. Um, I love you guys. I love you. I love you, Tauruses. I love you. I love you. I, I love you. <laughs> Hit me up on uh, moondanny1976 at gmail.com if you have any questions or if you want to read in or if you just want to talk. Love you.